All right, Julia Michaels is about to perform live right here on the Plaza. You may know her best from her Grammy-nominated song, Issues. What you may not know is Julia has also written a number of hits for other artists, so we got to sit down ahead of this morning's concert to talk about your awesome journey and your journey from becoming behind the spotlight to in front of it. With catchy hooks and a knack for turning intimate thoughts into irresistible tunes, Julia Michaels is one of music's breakout new artists. I miss you. But long before you knew her name, you've heard her music. Can't keep my hands to myself. From pop to country to R&B, she has co-written hits from some of today's biggest musicians. You are a, an incredible writer, but to be an incredible writer, you have to feel what people feel. Yeah. Is that just you? Yeah, I I think I've always sort of had an, like a very inviting presence. I think I get that from my dad. Michaels, a self-described shy kid growing up, always had a passion for songwriting. You know you're creative. You know you like writing songs. You're a kid. It's poetry. Yeah. I'm sure your parents were like, that's a cute hobby. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, actually, yeah. I had that exact response from my mom once. Yeah. They wanted you eventually to get a, like a real job. Yeah, my dad wanted me to go to college. But all that changed when she got her first big break at 17, writing the theme song for the Disney Channel show, Austin and Ally. That was sort of the pivotal moment okay. for me. I was like, oh, I'm not, it's not just a hobby or something that I love. It's something that, I'm, that I think I could actually do and that I'm kind of good at. Yeah. I love that. You're going kind of good at. Yeah. You're kind of more than good at it. <laughs> Is it hard to say out loud? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah. It, yeah. Like if I say I'm good at it, then I then th the passion kind of stops. So I have to just keep pushing myself. I'm pushing myself. That led to writing songs with artists like Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, and Gwen first Stefani. Time for the first time How do you help you. that song come out of her? Gwen was going through a lot of a lot at that time. She actually had a lot of notes written down on her computer. In the middle was sandwiched, I don't know why I cried, but I think it's because I remembered for the first time since I hated you that I used to love you. Mm. And then kept kept talking, I was like, <clears throat> oh. and I just was like punched in the, the heart with emotion. And I was like, we need to write that. I got issues, but you got them too. But she had no intention of singing her own music until she wrote her now hit Issues, a song inspired after a fight with an ex-boyfriend. When I wrote Issues, I just had this feeling that I just couldn't, I couldn't give it up. Michaels writes what she feels, recently opening up about her longtime struggle with panic attacks caused by anxiety, even suffering from one on stage at last year's Billboard Awards. And one of them is I think the reason why I get so anxious is because these songs are so personal mm -hmm. to me that if somebody doesn't like it, they're almost saying they don't like me. And that gets a little scary. But most of the time, a majority of the time, there's usually a lot of love in the, in the crowd. Cause all I do is now a seasoned performer, she displays a tattoo on her hand saying, I love you, a reminder to herself of strength and a message to her fans. That's for you. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when I'm on stage, I put it up, though. So that people know it's yeah, for them, too. Yeah, so they know it's for them, too.